Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and I'm back with another episode of DCS, another campaign. As you can guess by this flash screen, this campaign is going to be with the L-39 Albatross. If I look up at the name, time to go back to flight school. It will have been 42 years since the last time I was in flight school, so I'm going to guess that I picked up a few bad habits. I think I want to see what the uh, campaign can teach me. So, first off, I'd like to welcome in any new subscribers and welcome back all subscribers that are here to see another DCS campaign. So, we're going to just go ahead and drop on into this campaign. And it's not the Haruto campaign, by the way. And I made sure I looked up to find out how to pronounce this, and it's Coruscant, which says Cadet. Which they list as Abubajani Ab language, I guess is the way you pronounce it. So we'll just read what it says over here. The L-39 Albatross Coruscant campaign is a single player campaign for the L-39C slash uh, Zulu Alpha aircraft. Zulu Worm, you, were, you will... That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you will learning basic and advanced points low altitude navigation training learning aerial reconnaissance using real life tactics detailed instructions on bomb rocket and weapon and gun weapon delivery against ground targets didn't teach me how to read but we'll get it following realistic ingress maneuvers interception of aerial targets with the r-60 air-to-air -air missiles all flights are performed under the supervision of a virtual instructor well, that's going to be fun after each flight, he will decide whether or not you progress to the next mission based on your performance. At the conclusion of the training missions, an evaluation flight will be formed to determine how well you have learned the skills of the L-39 navigation and combat employment. So it's going to be instructor going to be yelling at me a lot. I'm kind of used to that from flight school. So at least he can't throw and hit me in the back of the head with a knee board. So um, that's good. Main features of this campaign, high, 11 highly detailed and realistic missions that are based on actual L-39 training requirements, mission start and end on the parking ramp, which creates an immersive atmosphere of being a Coruscant cadet at the flight school. Detailed briefing, flight plans, and virtual instructor pilot help you successfully complete the training course. Vocalizations will be in English and briefing the subtitles in English or Russian. So, let's go ahead and start this first one here. And as we normally do when we click OK, uh, if it uh, has a loading screen, we'll uh, skip over that and join you in the cockpit or wherever it takes us. We'll wait and find out. All right, here we are in our mission overview. Let's get to the briefing. Mission overview, title, practice, circle, pattern at low altitude. 8 o'clock in the morning. We're Russian. My task, let's see, are we Russian? Oh, yeah, sure enough. Uh, practice visual landing approach without the use of RB, uh, RSBN uh, 5S or RKL 41 at an altitude of 200 meters. Objective perform a circling pattern flight at an altitude of 200 meters after takeoff at an altitude of 15 meters and a speed not less than 200 kph. And um, hopefully these are, let's zoom in and see what it says here. Yep, that's APH and altitude in meters. So I'm going to guess everything is in meters. And I did upgrade the cockpit. Um, I'll leave in the notes uh, the uh, modder whose uh, cockpit I used. Gives it a little bit cleaner look and puts everything in English, which is what I read. So that's important. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. 
at a speed of not less than 200 kph, re retract the landing gear at an altitude of 50 to 70 meters, a speed of not less than 250 kph, or km slash h, retract the flaps. When speed of 350 has been reached, set the RPM to 100% and continue climbing with an acceleration to 350 uh, to 200 meters. That's not very high, in my opinion, but oh uh, yeah, okay. First and second turns must be performed together at an altitude of 200 meters, a speed of 350 uh, km class H, and a roll of 45 degrees. When exiting the second turn, you should be on the downward leg. Maintain a speed of 350 and an out to 200 meters. Once a beam the runway threshold, set the RPM to 80%, reduce airspeed to 330, and extend the landing gear. Set the RPM to 90 to maintain the airspeed of 300. When a beam the runway center point, visually uh, control the radius of the circle pattern based on the wind tick position relative to the runway figure four, which we'll look at here in a second. When the runway threshold is approximately at your eight o'clock, perform the third turn to the left with a roll of 45 degrees and a speed of 300 on a landing course of 60. The course pointer on the RMI will point to a value of 30 uh, on the external scale. Set RPM to 85% for an airspeed of 280 and extend the flaps. After the flaps have been extended, maintain an airspeed of 280 at an altitude of 200 meters. When the runway, when the ah, when the angle to the runway is 10 to 15, perform the first turn with a roll of 30 degrees at a speed of 280 and align the aircraft with the continuation of the runway center line. While performing the fourth turn, do not allow your airspeed to fall below 250. Okay. In the second phase of the fourth turn, set your descent angle by aiming towards the runway threshold. Set flaps to 44 and begin descending along uh, the glide path. While on glide path, do not allow your airspeed to fall below 230. Prepare for landing. While performing this lesson, the following minor deviations outside the briefing bar are allowed. Uh, speed, uh, 30 Altitude 30 meters, yaw and roll 10. Try not to exceed these restrictions. Based on your performance, instructor will decide if you pass this lesson. Okay, well, that's such a specific. Well, we'll find out here. Let's see. All right. Our, our mind, the center, yep. All right. And there's our airspeed, 39. Check. Take off. And figure four, and it says once a beam the runway threshold set the engine RPM to 80%, reduce airspeed to 330, and extend the landing gear, set the RPM to 90, maintain the airspeed at 300. All right, this is going to be the toughest part for me. There's eight o'clock because I kind of fly by too many years of doing it. <laughs> All right, let's see here weather conditions. ATC controller channel four. Which we're already set. Okay. So let's just double check what we got to do here. We're going to take off uh, 200. We want to speed up to 350 and climb to 200 meters. Hopefully, at the meters. Uh, altitude of 200 meters, 350. And roll 45. When exiting, you say you should be in down with a maintain a speed of 350 and altitude on a 200. Once a beam, the runway threshold, set this to 80%. So we come back to 80%. And we're reducing our airspeed. And we're going to extend the landing gear. Set the RPM to 80 to maintain 300. Okay. 
When a beam, the runway center point uh, visually control the radius of the circle based on the wingtip position relative to the runway. All right, the 80%, 280, and at 200 meters the entire time around, it appears. All right, align the aircraft with the continuation center line. 80, airspeed, don't blow. 50, uh, set the flaps to 44 degrees per second, and don't go below 230. Well, it doesn't tell us what what that's going to be, so. All right, now. Rear cockpit is ready. Ask permission to start the engine. Oh, good. Uh, English? Okay. And you... Good. And we will use the auto start like we normally do. power so I don't know how they expect us to start quest to start unless we got uh let's do it. Let's it. see if we get uh ground power then we can ask this. all right Oh, let's turn the battery on here. If we can. Looks like we're there. Okay, well, we'll just start up the engine. Let me skip ahead on this. I got a lot of uh, minor things. We got just one engine on this. So we'll see. There she goes. Oh, temperatures. Okay, there's auto start is complete. Once we can 
talk to ATC here. Good. Good. Now let's go back to here. Ground crew off. Отключить питание. Прием. Which will drag our left to the ground. That's all our altitude warning. Now, this is 200 meters. I'm going to have it warn me if I'm breaking that. Okay. set back there. No jocks. Nope. Double check just to make sure. Ground crew. Docks. Just to make sure. Alright, good. Then we're moved. Alright, well, runway four I do believe is over that away. So that's the direction that we'll go. Waiting for him to tell me to do something. It's backwards. Do not forget, taxi to the left. Well, okay. Feeling kind of anxious. <laughs> Get the instructor yelling at me. In the briefing, you should have become familiar with the objectives of this lesson. Please pay special attention to altitude of the aircraft during the takeoff roll and while airborne, maintaining required course and pitch of 10 degrees when climbing, precisely maintaining airspeed, altitude roll, and course changes during all stages of the lesson. The moment when the landing gear should be extended and that the third turn should be performed. Maintaining direction after the third turn, and determining the moment of the fourth turn entry. After the fourth turn, determine your position relative to the glide path, and if necessary, adjust it. Little wobble here on taxi. I don't have any uh, old short markings. Check. Flaps 25. Canopy 
is locked, trimmers are in neutral position, course pointer is set on landing course. Okay, flats of 25, landing course check. All right, that's good. Lost control. What happened there? Wheel got stuck. What so my rudders are working. Oh. I'm like running in the grass. He's back there shaking his head, going, What the hell is he doing? All right, centered, clear for takeoff. Flashing red light is altitude. Set takeoff altitude. Let me bring you to the landing gear. Yep, thank you. Retract the flaps. Do. Open he would do. Set her speed to 350, flying altitude of 200, first turn after my command. I like it. Airspeed 350. Yeah. Wow. Airspeed 350. Yeah, he's gonna yell at me. All right, we'll pop the speed brake and get my roll out. Altitude 200. Yeah, move back up. Altitude 200. Bust the shit out of me on this flight, that's for sure. Altitude 200. <laughs> Airspeed 330. Extend the landing gear. Altitude 200.
When the runway threshold is at your 8 o'clock, turn to the left with 45 roll at angle. The landing course pointer will point to a value of 30 on the external scale of RMI. Okay. Yeah. This is the part where I'm probably not gonna like. Come out of the turn, airspeed to 80, flaps 25. Yeah. Keep visual on the runway and fly the landing course. Shit. Glad you. Give me the option. Flaps 44 degrees. Airspeed no less than 230. Passing the runway threshold at 210. Speed brakes. Yeah, let's try center line here. Lane. Evaluation attempt. Repeat the lesson. Lap 25 degrees maximum RPM. All right. Okay. Retract the flaps. Set her speed to 350, flying altitude of 200, first turn after my command. Mm -hmm. Turn to the left at an airspeed of 350 with a roll of 45 degrees to enter the downwind leg. Speed 350. Gotta fly the freaking pattern in, in inside. It's hardly a visual pattern if I gotta fly exactly it here. Any sense, but. Roll 45. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rolling 45. It's 45. Put the speed brakes out so I can keep power on. <clears throat> direction. All right, direction is right. Oh, direction. All right. There we go. Airspeed 330. Extend the landing gear. Landing gear down. 30 gear. Airspeed 300. When the runway threshold is at your 8 o'clock, turn to the left with 45 roll at angle. The landing course pointer will point to a value of 30 on the external scale of RMI. Um. Altitude 200. Yep, yep, yep. Come around again, 45. Altitude 200. Tell me to be 45 degrees turn. Come out of the turn, airspeed to 80, flaps 25. 
Keep visual on the runway and fly the landing course. Yep. Okay, thank you. Flaps 44 degrees. Airspeed no less than 230. Passing the runway threshold at 210. And feel like it ain't better this time. breaks out it gives me better response to so nail the altitude this time turn to the left at an airspeed of 350 with roll of 45 degrees to enter the downwind leg altitude 200 I'm gonna turn altitude 200 Right. There. Five degree. Three fifty. Coming up. Altitude two hundred. See that. All right. Roll out. power oh oh ha. altitude 200 come out of the turn airspeed 280 flaps 25 keep visual on the runway and fly the landing course so so concentrating inside i'm flying through the damn course ah damn it flaps 44 
Ops 44 degrees, airspeed no less than 230. Passing the runway threshold at 210. Be a reset flaps again, so you are not maintaining. I know, altitude. yes, I know. Repeat exercise flaps 25 degrees, yeah. RPM maximum. I'm already set. Set takeoff altitude 10 degrees nose up. Okay, reach 10 degrees. the landing gear. We track the flaps. Set her speed to 350, flying altitude of 200, first turn after my command. Turn to the left at an airspeed of 350, with roll of 45 degrees to enter the downwind leg. Altitude 200. Airspeed 330. Extend the landing gear. Airspeed 300. threshold is at your 8 o'clock, turn to the left with 45 roll at angle. The landing course pointer will point to a value of 30 on the external scale of RMI. not roll through my altitude 200 yeah yes this is a barely change here come out of the turn airspeed 280 flaps 25 keep visual on the runway and fly the landing course <laughs> Flaps 44 degrees, airspeed no less than 230. Passing the runway threshold at 210. And now I'm ballooning all over the place for the landing. That was a soft one. <laughs> no remarks, exit the runway. Oh right, no remarks, exit the runway. God damn.
no remarks. He just says, send me back to, send me back to ground school. Taxi parking out. Well done. You passed this right. Oh, wow, really? We tried flaps and taxi to the parking ramp. Yep. Already we done that? No remarks, huh? He's being generous. practice taxi in this thing anyway. Working the throttle. Boy parked in here. Pretty close. Okay. How did it roll forward? Todd's place. Oh, what kind of score I got on this? Ah, let's step down. That's it. Directed. Well, <clears throat> blind by the numbers. After all the years of blind by, if you will, feel, blind by those numbers for landing. What a pain in the ass. But that's why we're here. Do a little, uh, do a little flight school here and see what we've uh, forgotten. Good. And the mission. All right, mission's flown. 100% success there. No deaths. That's good. Low level route following will be our next one. Well, there you go. Well, that was interesting. Uh, it was fun. Uh, again, uh, this is uh, by uh, ED did this uh, campaign. So, highly recommend. Get it, do it. And if anything, it gives you good practice. So, we will be back soon with another episode. So, like I say, it's fun. Love the campaigns. And this is a good uh, little jet to do a little training on before I move on to something more advanced. Which is obviously where you should start with the trainer first and then move your way up. But most of us want to jump straight into an F-14 or a, a MiG-21 or a SU-23 or, or what, 
SU-33, SU-something, SU-25. That's the one I like. Anyway, that will be it for this uh, episode. Thanks for joining me. So as, as always, I'm Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.